This is video three in my series, Slow Pitch Power Pitching. In this video, we're going to talk about strength training and practice drills designed to reinforce what we learned in video two. In video two, we talked about the grip, the release, the overall mechanics of the pitch. But before we get started, if you've been watching my videos and you haven't subscribed, please subscribe. That way, you won't get left behind. Also, feel free to leave your comments below and also, more importantly, leave your questions because I always answer your questions. Now, with that bit of housekeeping behind us, let's get started. Muscle memory is an interesting but very important phenomenon. Now, if you understand it and apply it correctly, it can reduce the amount of time it takes for you to learn a new skill, even master that skill. Plus, it has the added benefit of making that skill more permanent. Now, if you're interested in that sort of thing, I have an article linked below. The mechanism that makes muscle memory work is repetition, but not just any old repetition. It has to be quality, correct repetition. We've all heard the old saying, practice doesn't make perfect. Perfect practice makes perfect. Well, that is the case here. It might take you a thousand repetitions or 2000 repetitions to really nail down a new skill. For example, you might be learning a new pitch and say you've worked on it all week, you've thrown three or four buckets of balls. Now, you show up game night, you're out there pitching and you're all over the place. I mean, you're not exactly knocking it down like Justin Verlander. Look, I don't want you to get bent over that. I just want you to understand that that time you're investing, those reps you're investing, that's in your future skill. So once you get started, you're gonna see you're making progress fast. As a matter of fact, you're as you work, you're gonna catch little glimpses of your future self and that is what's exciting so what I want you to do is keep working hard keep pitching go out there and compete and before you know it you're gonna get where you want to go now let's start with the first drill which is the finger or hand stretch now for the finger stretch or hand stretch drill what I want you to do is take the ball tuck it between your index finger and your middle finger put it in there as far as you can the object is to get your fingertips on the opposite sides of the ball now once you have it in there what I want you to do is squeeze it tight for one or two, maybe three seconds, as hard as you can squeeze it, and then release. Do that for 20 repetitions, for three sets of 20. If you do this three or four times a week, it's plenty. Now, the object of this drill is to acclimate your hand to the wide three-point grip. It also strengthens the hand and the fingers once you get to the next drills, and that'll be once you flip the ball and you're increasing that spin rate, that strength between your fingers is gonna help reduce slippage. Here's a supplement that I use for the finger stretch or hand stretch drill. And what I do is I take a two pound rubber ball. It's soft, it's filled with sand, just slightly larger than a softball, but it works really well. The same thing, you pinch between your fingers, only with this, what you wanna do is flex the wrist 90 degrees and do reverse curls. This further strengthens the grip between your fingers and it also starts to introduce the exercise to the wrist and also the mechanics or motor memory to this 90 degree angle. Do this to exhaustion, maybe for three sets. The next drill is the flip drill. With this drill, you're gonna to start to memorize the grip and the wrist to arm angle. What you do is you grip the ball like I showed you in video two. You make sure the first knuckle on the first finger or index finger and middle finger are right over the seams. Make sure they're over the seams because this will prevent slippage and it will help you when the ball is wet sometimes too. On the thumb, the same thing. Make sure your thumb is over the seam. Make sure you're evenly spaced, okay? Evenly spaced, that's the first thing you do. So between every rep of this drill, you're gonna go back and reintroduce your hand to that grip. That'll help create that motor memory that you're looking for. The next thing you're gonna do is isolate the hand from the forearm. And I want you to put your other hand right here like this. So this, again, now we're memorizing this angle what I don't want you to do is when we go to the field when we get on the mound and we start pitching that you're fiddling around with this grip and you're fiddling around with this angle this is why we're isolating these drills separate from the pitching motion because it's important that this is memorized so that you're not thinking about that you're not getting paralysis by analysis when you're on the mound okay so what we're doing right now is isolating the grip and the wrist from the rest of the body for the rest of the arm so hang that over and then you flip it like this. Okay, just that simple. Reintroduce it between every rep. Okay, I've got the grip right. I've got the spacing right. Knuckles over seams. 90 degree angle, here we go. Flip and catch. Do that 20 times, 
20 times three. And that will start to memorize, again, the grip and the arm angle. Okay, our next drill is the rake. Now the rake is like the flip, except you're introducing a little extra squeeze at the end, a raking motion down with the fingers. The way it works is like this. You're gonna take the same grip, the same arm angle, but when you flip it, on the flip, you're gonna squeeze tight, bear down tight, and then you're gonna pinch that ball with those fingers and rake down. So it looks kind of like this, okay? And you're gonna get that last 10 or 15% of spin rate because of that raking motion, okay? And, and focus on this drill, focus on that squeeze and that release. Get that ball to spin right there at release. Now, all these drills are designed to basically make these motions permanent in your mechanics so that when we step out on the mound, you're not thinking about this. You're not fiddling around with the grip and the, and the, arm, and the wrist angle and all that kind of stuff. We want to really nail this down. The nice thing about these drills is you can do them inside on a rainy day. You can do them anywhere. You don't have to be on the mound. And really the grip, release, and angle, all that, that's about 80% of your pitch right there. So if you can nail that down, once we get out on the mound and start throwing pitches and start working on location and command and those sorts of things, once you've got this nailed down, you know, you're well on your way. In the next video, we're going to put it all together on the mound, and we're also going to introduce the strategy and the mental approach to pitching. So if you haven't subscribed, subscribe. See you next time.